Hey guys. Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, this reading here is for the water sign. So it is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So if you are a water sign, there's probably a message in here for you. Or if you are um, dating a water sign or something like that, this message could be for you as well. All right, guys, we're just taking a closer look. And if you have water in your placement, there could be a message in here for you as well. We're starting with the looking glass. All right, guys, let's just dig a little deeper. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, love. Somebody's expressing love, right? They want to show you they love you. They're thinking about love. Somebody could be sending you a message. This person feels attached. All right, guys, changing. This could be growth in a relationship. The relationship could be involved into the next phase, right? Somebody could have healed their inner child and changing. Holy Spirit, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Healing heart. Um, you could be covering from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship. So some of you, some of my water signs, you got out of a toxic relationship and now you have new love in your life, right? Ooh, there's a date. Somebody got the date card. <laughs> some of you could be meeting someone new, uh, planning. It could be a blind date, getting back on the dating scene. So somebody could be out there. My water signs, you're out there. You're trying to find your love. You're trying to, you know, trying to get out there. I say, hey, right? Holy Spirit, from a water sign. You've healed from some heartbreak. You're healing from some heartbreak. It's like you're ready to get back out there. You, you're changing. You evolved. Holy Spirit, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? My emotional signs, Holy Spirit, the ones with feelings, not <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, in love, right? It looks good so far. Somebody's swimming away to karma waters. They sure are. They're like, I'm choosing peace. I want peace and happiness, no more drama. Five of Swords. They. This person here... They probably dealt with a lot of deceit. They probably had hidden agendas. Um, they was probably dealing with somebody that had hidden agendas, deceit, sneaky. And they're like, you know what? I'm swimming away now. I want peace. Because they're realizing whatever they were in, it was unbalanced, right? It wasn't an equal give and take. They could have been dealing with someone um, who was given to other people. Yeah. If this is you guys, you thought long and hard about uh, moving on, about getting back out there, about getting back on the dating scene. You, Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, you thought long and hard about this. You said, you know what, it's my time, it's my time. <laughs> All right, get on back out there. That's right, get on back out there. Holy Spirit, for my water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You was dealing with a lot of injustice, guys. That's why you're choosing to swim away to come from waters. It was just, it was a lot of injustice and you're choosing love. Over the deceit, the betrayal, the hidden agendas, you said, if I have to choose, I choose love. So someone is choosing love. I say, go for it. This six of pentacles here that was unbalanced, that was given to other people, that was the devil, right? They was out there tricking. Uh, tricking and treating. <laughs> they was out there tricking. Yep. But you're the emperor, so you see all things. You saw everything from the top of the castle, right? Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking of a possible partnership, or someone is thinking of a possible partnership with this Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody may have you in their sights, right? Especially after they get out of whatever they got in. They heal their heart from heartbreak. They're ready to get back out there. From what it seems like, this person only have eyes for you. They may be having offers. They have offers, but they don't want what is being offered to them. And they're not up in their head about it. They're not shook. They're not afraid of these changes. They're not afraid to move forward. And here they come. And they're Knight of Wands energy. Fancy free, right? Fancy free. This person could be moving, a change of home. It could have been a long journey for them, right? But they're very energetic. They have a lot of energy. Happy, fun, playful. Two of Pentacles. They're still juggling a lot in their head. 
So juggling, you know, dot and AI, crossing her T's. But someone's coming in. Someone who has healed from heartbreak is coming in for you. Yep. Possible partnership, three of wands. They are going to make this move, right? They completed the first stage. Uh, they have progress up under their feet. Whatever they walked away from, there was just no more hope left in that situation. And they just they had to heal from it. And now they're ready. Three of cups. They're ready to clink glasses. They're ready to celebrate. This person is ready to just go be happy. Yeah. Six of wands. They're ready to go out in the public. They're ready to get out there. They're ready to start dating. This person, whoever it is, guys, this may be you. This may be you, but you're definitely healing from some heartbreak. And get back out there. Holy Spirit, full of water signs. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, right? Yeah, so it seems like somebody's healed from a broken heart if this isn't you. But if they heal, they're coming for you. Holy Spirit, with bricks and pillows. So they could be telling someone else no, right? Holy Spirit. I have dreams about you. They seem so real. So this person, they dream about you guys. They had to heal from some heartbreak, and now they're dreaming about you. They're planning a date. You're their day one. You're my day one. So somebody's coming back to you. Holy Spirit. That, was, that card said change is coming. <laughs> Let's see. And then it says yes. So over here, they're telling somebody else no. But the answer to your question, guys, is yes. And on the bottom right here is the Divine Feminine. And right next to it is just the two of us. So water signs. Oh, right next to that is, guys, you're going to have to release an X. Some of you, you may have to release some body. But this person's coming in. Holy Spirit, for the collect for the person that has healed their heart, right? Who's coming in for my water sign, Spirit? Holy Spirit, who is coming in for my water signs, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who's coming in, right? Attraction. That card tried to fall out. Um, you're very attracted to this person. They're very attracted to you, right? Spirit said, enjoy this moment. Uh, this person is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your work and in your love life. So sit still, Divine Feminine. <laughs> sit still. You're going to have to forgive and learn with this person. Okay? Or they're going to have to forgive and learn from their heartbreak. You may have to forgive and learn. Let your friends help you. Maybe you need advice. I can be that friend. Right? Um, you're going to have to talk to this person. It's definitely worth waiting for. Some of you may still be attached to an ex or something. You need to get rid of it, right? <laughs> Whatever. If you so choose. All right, guys. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is your reading. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.